Wang Mang Mang's live stream screen was flooded with comments like a waterfall. Chen Yuan couldn't help but smile smugly and said, Just 3 billion and you've already got everyone in awe? There's still 7 billion more to give. Let me wave my hand to make you all scream. At this moment, Chen Yuan suddenly received a text on his phone. Hey, what are you doing? Have you been the one constantly giving gifts to me? Chen Yuan replied, yes, it was me. After reading the message, Wang Meng Meng couldn't help but complain. Oh my, why do you give me so many gifts? It's such a waste of money. Chen Yuan replied indifferently, it's not a waste. Just think of it as transferring money from my left hand to my right hand. After hearing this, Wang Meng Meng understood. That's right. The big cat is in charge and it's not for others to benefit from. So it's not too much for you to give as much as you want. But thinking about the large amount of money spent, Wang Meng Meng couldn't help but call out to him. Even if the big cat is in charge, it still has to pay taxes. With such a huge amount of gifts, even if it's just 10% tax, it could still be hundreds of millions lost. Please don't give any more and my live stream is stuck due to the effects and comments. I can't even watch anymore. It's just all lagging. After replying to Wang Meng Meng's text, Chen Yuan fell into deep thought for a moment. I originally wanted to give another 7 billion, even though I've already deposited 10 billion. If Wang Meng Meng's live stream room is lagging, then I'll switch to another live stream room to give gifts. It's really not okay to only give gifts to one female streamer. After that, Chen Yuan continued to search for a new streamer. As long as their looks exceeded the average, he wouldn't hesitate to be generous. The rooms he passed through also casually encouraged spirits with 5 to 10 million. This action made countless female streamers from other platforms envy and a few hours later, a large number of female streamers had quit their jobs at other platforms and joined as streamers for Big Cat TV. By late afternoon, the number of new streamer signups on Big Cat TV had surpassed 5,000, truly creating a live stream frenzy. Behind the scenes of Mio TV, Kim Jisoo and Seo Hyun are discussing this issue. Ms. Kim, since Chen Yuan gave a gift to the female streamer, the number of people registering as streamers for Mio TV has skyrocketed. The female streamer who received the gift has been flaunting on social media with friends, claiming she just casually streamed and received a $10 million gift from Chen Yuan. Seo Hyun said. However, when Seo Hyun paused, Kim Jisoo urged her nervously, Miss Tham, we still need to be straightforward with each other. Seo Hyun then began to analyze. Previously, there were rumors about Chen Yuan facing financial difficulties, leading to a decline in Mio TV's performance. Therefore, the best way to clarify this rumor is for Chen Yuan to show off his money by giving gifts to the female streamer. Furthermore, the amount of the reward must be significant to have a shocking effect, but rewarding too much money will make Chen Yuan lose capital. Kim Jisoo immediately interjected, So, Wang Meng Meng is the perfect choice. Chen Yuan giving 3 billion to Wang Meng Meng not only helps her become famous, but they are also biological siblings, so transferring money from left to right won't result in any loss. After waking up, Seo Haiyan suddenly understood everything. She excitedly slammed her hand on the table and exclaimed, Chen Yuan, are you preparing to trap them? Kim Jisoo, puzzled, asked, What are you saying, Seo Haiyan? What do you mean? Seo Hyun immediately explained, The Film City project has completed its initial phase under the skillful direction of Shen Yuan. Large conglomerates such as Lai Shi, Taeyong Family, Hong Tan Capital, and Ruan Jin Bank are all quietly looking to sell land. However, Shen Yuan cannot let them withdraw easily. This gift not only helps to strengthen Lim Yong Wong's reputation once again, but also brings positive effects to the film project, attracting public attention and pushing the project forward. When people know that Lim Yum Wong's land acquisition project has been completed, those tycoons will not be able to quietly sell land anymore. Kim Jisoo also chimed in, That's right, this gift from Shen Yuan also helps the struggling TV station. The important thing is that everyone doesn't know that this new streamer is actually Lim Yum Wong's sister. They only think that Shen Yuan is truly generous and willing to give 3 billion to a new streamer. This action both amazes and earns everyone's respect. It's truly a triple win. Seo Hyun is really amazing, just a glance, and she understands everything. Seo Hyun hurriedly brushed off. There's nothing, I didn't say anything. Surely Kim Jisoo is smart enough to figure it out. Then Seo Hyun sighed and said, It's been a long time since I've seen him. He's grown up so much. Involuntarily, Seo Hyun's mind was in turmoil. Chaotic thoughts began to creep into her mind. Chen Yuan not only has a perfect appearance, but also has extraordinary intelligence. A man like that who wouldn't want to possess besides, there are so many beautiful girls around him. Surely he's very skilled in charming women. Early the next morning, a series of shocking headlines climbed to the top hot searches on all social media platforms. 
Oh my god, Lim Young Wong is so generous. Just to get a smile from the beautiful woman, he gave a gift of 3 billion. How much money does Lim Young Wong really have? Who says Lim Young Wong is bankrupt? These news had caused a stir among netizens. Chai Yi Rian also read it and couldn't help but be startled. 3 billion Lim Young Wong is slapping the arrogant people in the face. Surely that brat Quan Jai Yang must be scared to death. Ha ha, he's right. Yu Ayan also knew that Shen Yun was not a simple person. So when he heard this news, he was not surprised. Lim Young Wong and I are close friends. He has inexhaustible strength playing with these people like a farmer playing chess. Just one move and he hits the target. Thinking about Lai Shi and Tae Young's family being mocked by Lim Young Wong. Yu Ayan involuntarily broke into a sweat. Actually, yesterday, I couldn't guess what Lim Young Wong was up to. I was just joking. Who knew he would be so domineering? Luckily, I didn't have any enmity with him before. At the same time, the dark and terrifying atmosphere of the Jiayong Balkong group suddenly disappeared, replaced by vibrancy and excitement. Look at this lively chat group, bustling like a beehive. The Jiayong Balkong chat group is as lively as a marketplace. Messages pouring in like a waterfall. Just turning around to grab a glass of water could cause you to miss dozens of messages. Oh my, Lim Yong Wom was truly dominant yesterday, sweeping away all opponents with one hand, his strength surpassing all expectations. Who would believe that he's having financial difficulties? The three billion he threw at the female streamer is more than my entire fortune. It's unbelievable. Fortunately, I didn't withdraw. Those who withdrew before must be regretting it deeply. Indeed, they must be regretting it, wanting to return to the group now, but it's too late. Lim Yong Wong has banned them from entering and letting them back in won't be easy. At that moment, someone unexpectedly released a series of shocking information. Has anyone heard this news yet? Recently, I was planning to buy land in the city of Tianmen, but discovered that someone was secretly selling land at a low price. Surprisingly, after investigation, I found out that these land sellers are intermediaries of the Taeyong family, Lai Shi Hong Sam Capital, and Ruin Jin Bank. Four investors had to work very hard to buy these pieces of land at triple the market price, and now they are rushing to sell. There must be something wrong. After a few days of investigation, it turns out that those financial conglomerates are plotting to take over Lim Young Wong's film project. They want to stop Lim Young Wong at a critical moment, healing him a fatal blow he can't withstand. Who would have thought Lim Young Wong collaborated with the Tae Young family to play two trump cards of real estate and land? Thanks to this, Lim Young Wong has reversed the situation and trapped Lai Shi, Hong Shan Capital, and Ruan Jin Bank. Now they are holding on to a huge pile of land but don't know how to handle it. It's really a difficult situation. The Jai Ong Buk Ong chat group is buzzing with excitement about Lim Young Wong, who is becoming their pride and joy. They believe that Lai Shi's failure means that Lim Young Wong's film project will not be hindered. They predict that in the next 10 years, the entertainment industry will undergo a purge and such a large-scale film project will boost the economic growth of Tianmen and the surrounding area. They also hear that the provincial party secretary is also supporting Lim Young Wong. They predict that in the future, the entertainment industry in the province and the whole country will undergo a transformation. They also mention that Xia Yi Ran and the group is stirring up resentment with the Taeyong family and many other families because of Lim Young Wong. As of now, Xia Yi Ran feels that Lim Young Wong is out of control and acting impulsively. Some of his close confidants have also been expelled from the group. However, all of this has been proven and Xia Yi Ran feels awed by Lim Young Wong for handling it alone and taking the opportunity to purge the betrayers. Chen Yuan is also starting to calculate anew, believing that his position and influence have increased and despite the previous scandal, the film project is facing difficulties but is still a big business opportunity. After that, Chen Yuan suddenly released a shocking message. The film district project is about to kick off. I have decided to have everyone join forces. The power of teamwork is incredibly immense. Do you all see? In general, this is a great opportunity. If successful, this project can help elevate the status of your families. The message was immediately sent to 204 members who erupted in cheers. Lim Young Wong may share a portion of the meal. We, as brothers, affirm our commitment to cooperate. My family's Lim Young Wong specializes in operating a chain of nationwide grocery stores. I believe the presence of the movie district will contribute to boosting the shopping market, creating favorable conditions for our business. Hey. My family specializes in a chain of restaurants and we pledge to be present at the movie district as soon as the project is completed, providing great culinary experiences for our customers. Lim Yong Wong, I run a hotel and am ready to be present at the movie district to serve our guests the most considerate manner. My family's Lim Yong Wong has officially cut off all business cooperation with Quan Jai Yang. 
hoping that you prioritize choosing our company to provide construction materials for the movie district project. The crowd became extremely excited. Everyone eagerly tried to gain the most favorable position, as just a nod from Chen Yuan could mean that the opportunity to make a profit in this deal was almost within reach. At this moment, Wang Meng Meng exclaimed with delight, Hey, look at this, I don't know how, but I'm now on the hot search on Weibo. Even though Lim Yong Wong is the main character on the hot search, the screen capture of me has been widely spread across social media. Right now, countless netizens are enthusiastically discussing. Many people are praising my beautiful appearance. Chen Yuan playfully patted her on the head. I know, internet famous girl, you want to be famous overnight, ha. Huh. Wang Meng Meng couldn't help but get upset. I'm not an internet famous girl at all. Look, many people in the comments below are cursing you, saying that you will become rich without treating people fairly and you are just a playboy. They even said that you only know how to throw money at female streamers. They don't understand anything. They just go online and talk nonsense. I'm so mad. Chen Yuan waved his hand. Actually, I didn't mean that. Wang Meng Meng still doubted him. Don't lie to me yesterday, Miss Yang Weibai told me everything. You're throwing money around like crazy because you have a hidden agenda, right? Today's hot search not only benefits the movie district project, but also increases the hype, attracting a huge number of visits. So boasting about your wealth is just a trick. In reality, you were just a playboy. Chen Yuan couldn't explain himself. The more he explained, the more misunderstood he became. He could only shake his head and deny it. I didn't, you misunderstood me. Wang Mang Mang blinked and looked at Chen Yuan with eyes full of admiration. Don't treat me like a child. Even though I may not understand much, I know that every move you make has deep calculations. You are smarter and more talented than others. No wonder there are so many jealous and baseless critics online. Those lowly people have no understanding, but I do. You like to pretend to be a pig to eat the tiger, don't you? Chen Yu sighed helplessly and gently tapped his forehead. Oh no, why is Meng Meng also starting to have delusions? It's clearly a simple matter. Why make it so complicated? I simply want to make money. Why do people speculate baselessly about my actions? If this continues, I'm afraid our brotherly relationship will be defected. We need to change the subject. Thinking about this, Chen Yuan asked seriously, Hey, you mentioned that Mr. Ma put up a 50 million prize to find a Go expert. What's that about? Wang Meng Meng explained, Oh, you don't know? It's been quite a stir lately. The reason is because our national Go master Zhang Muji lost to a Japanese teenager in a match. And since then, the Japanese teenager has been causing trouble in Huaxia, even openly challenging on the internet, claiming that Huaxia Go is just a bunch of chickens. This statement has angered the Huaxia online community and everyone wants someone to come forward and teach this Japanese teenager a lesson. So Mr. Ma put up the 50 million prize to find a Go expert. After listening, Chen Yuan couldn't believe it and asked again, really, I can't believe it. How can that guy from the land of the rising sun know the chicken feathers idiom? Wang Meng Meng explained while brushing off, no, no, the point is not here, but the Japanese Go master Kimura Shimigen is only 20 years old. He started playing Go at the age of five, joined the Go club at seven, and became a professional master at 10. At the age of 11, he studied under the top Go master in Japan, Tokuda, who had won the world championship. Last month, Shimikin officially came down from the mountain, but instead of choosing to be a master in Japan, he was determined to come to Huaxia to assert himself. In the past 10 days, Shimikin has been continuously playing against more than 10 Huaxia Go masters and has won every match. In particular, Shimikin defeated the famous Go master Lee Seo, the president of the Jiangan Province Go Association, one of the top 10 Go Masters in Huaxia and the most respected figure in Huaxia. However, in the three matches, Li Xiao was defeated every time. Shimikin's victory over Li Xiao has made him the center of attention in the Go world and raised questions about his reputation. In front of everyone, Shimikin mocked Huaxia's Go. Is this all there is to go in Huaxia? It's far inferior compared to Japan. Master Li, you are the third ranked master in Huaxia, but I haven't even used my full strength and yet you lost. I am truly disappointed with Quox, he is go. You are all just garbage. No wonder in the world go torments. The land of the rising sun is always the winning country. Shimikin's words made Lee Seo so angry that he started bleeding and fainted on the spot. After that, the video quickly spread on the internet and caused an uproar among netizens. Three days later, Zhang Mu Ji, the number one go master in Huaxia, accepted the challenge from Kimu to defend the honor of the go community in Huaxia. However, the result was not as expected. In three games, Zhang Muji only won one, causing a stir in the Go community in Huaxia. I heard Kim Dong Group CEO of GD and QQ Group also put up a prize of over 200 million. 
Does Zhang Mu Jian want to put up a prize to find someone to defeat Kimu Rashimikin? Chen Yuan took out his phone, scrolled through the news about Kimu Rashimikin, and replied, I'm not interested in putting up a prize, but I'm very interested in receiving a prize. Wai Meng Meng asked in surprise, Really? Do you want to receive the prize? Are you serious? Chen Yuan affirmed confidently, Of course I'm serious. I will participate in the competition. When Chen Yuan watched Kimu Rashimikin's video again, he couldn't help but sink into thought, this Japanese teenager, Kimura Shimikin, is really too arrogant. Anyway, I'm not as busy as finding an opportunity to compete with Kimura Shimikin to regain the honor of Hwasia. I have already mastered the skill of Go. I am confident that I can defeat him. If my current level is not enough, I will upgrade my skill level. Wang Bang Bang was bewildered. I thought you would hang a billion dollar prize to attract media attention, even surpassing the commercial tycoons. But I didn't expect you to say that you want to compete by yourself. When did you learn to play Go? Then Wang Mang Mang asked suspiciously, Do you know the level of Kimia Shimikin? Kimia is a Go genius from Japan seven years ago. I've heard Kimia only accepts challenges from professional masters or amateur experts with a level of nine or above. You are not a professional master. If you want a challenge, you need to register for an online Go account and upgrade to level nine, which is almost impossible in a short time. Besides, your work is very busy. Do you have enough time to play Go? Chen Yuan replied indifferently. I have time. Why wouldn't I have time? This answer made Wang Meng Meng somewhat doubtful about his life. You are truly extraordinary. How many tasks do you have to handle every day from planning to completing each project, and yet you still have a lot of time for your hobbies? Indeed, besides indulging and idling, you also spend time playing games totally different from a billionaire. And now you even don't know how to play Go. How do you manage to do so much? Maybe your leisure is due to super efficient time management. I should also try to improve in that aspect. Wang Meng Meng not only felt pressure from Chen Yuan, which constantly urged her to push herself, but also began to doubt life. Oh, why suddenly feel discouraged? And I see myself really busy every day, but why do I feel that way? Is it not right? No, I'm at home and I don't know what to do. Busy with what? Busy with what the hell? She was live streaming while reviewing her exercises. Hello everyone, I'm Meng Meng. I'm Live Again. Today's live stream topic is reviewing thank you for everyone's support. Just after an hour of live streaming, the number of online viewers reached 2 million people. In the comments section, netizens were buzzing, oh my god, writing exercises and still attracting 2 million viewers. I came here because of the hot search, heard that Lim Young Mo gave her 3 billion. Today, the news about this girl is everywhere. Her beauty is really top notch. I'm worried that she won't escape from Lim Young Wong's grasp. Thinking about such an innocent girl being possessed by Lim Young Wong, it really bothers me. Chen Yuan returned to his room and registered for an account to play Go on the computer. He thought this would definitely be the platform for online Go matches that the Huaxia masters loved. After thinking for a moment, Chen Yuan decided to name his account Hu Rai Kitun. He chose this name because if the teenager came from the land of the rising sun, then he would use the name Hu Rai Kitun, which sounded a bit eccentric, but also quite cool. By mid-morning, Chen Yuan had completed the registration for his computer Go account. Immediately, the screen displayed the grand lobby interface of Go, which seemed like a virtual arena where masters from all over Huaxia gathered. In addition to the playing area, there was a waiting room for masters to socialize and learn from each other. Without further ado, Chen Yuan entered the match with a determined attitude. The mastery of Go skills is at my fingertips. Now I just need to find an opponent to compete with. Chen Yuan quickly paired up with a random master of the system arranged on the virtual chessboard. Chen Yuan not only showed lightning fast moves, but each chess piece placed down was so accurate that it left the opponent stunned and only able to passively defend. Seeing the opponent fall into the trap he had set, Chen Yuan couldn't help but feel triumphant. Why does it feel like there's no pressure at all? The opponent keeps making mistakes, it's all so easy. Why take so long to think? Faced with Chen Yuan's explosive and overwhelming playstyle, his opponent could only resist weakly. Gradually, Chen Yuan's opponent struggled and despair even more. Not even 10 minutes had passed before Chen Yuan ended the first game with a resounding victory. However, after winning the first game, Chen Yuan felt a bit unsatisfied. Damn, it's too simple. The opponent's skills are so basic. Only moving step by step, it ends so quickly, it's not satisfying. 30 minutes passed, and initially, Chen Yuan was full of energy. But after playing a few games, he felt a bit bored and disappointed. It's true that the opponent is too weak at chess, they don't even care about winning or losing and can't even handle the situation. After consecutive victories in 10 games of chess, Chen Yuan was promoted to amateur third Dan thanks to a 100% win rate. 
All of his opponent's chess speed had slowed down. Chen Yuan still maintained a game time of less than half an hour from 10 in the morning until 6.30 in the evening. With 30 consecutive games, Chen Yuan still maintained an undefeated streak and was promoted to amateur fifth Dan. After reviewing his information, Chen Yuan couldn't help but mumble a few words. He said that the requirements were too strict and achieving the ninth level today was difficult with the current playing speed. He believed that his proficiency in playing Go and his mental score of over 80 helped him win without using reinforcement points. However, the opponents became more cautious and difficult to play against as the games went on, making each game take a lot of time. Chen Yuan also complained about facing opponents intentionally prolonging the game, but luckily the ghost system has a time limit and he believed that a game cannot last all day. At the end of another dull game of Go, Chen Yuan could only sigh and murmur when starting the next game. Loneliness like falling snow, can anyone defeat me? Life is so desolate, I don't know when I will encounter that Shimikin guy. In some apartment, there was a boy sitting in front of a computer playing Go. He was Kimura Shimikin. After winning against Zhang Muji, Shimikin felt extremely bored. He leisurely searched for opponents online using the account name Demon King. With this title, Shimikin had won 62 consecutive games without a single loss. At the end of another game, Shimikin smirked ward of evident on his face. As the ancients said, those who seize opportunities are the skilled ones. Those who surrender and abandon their pieces are the clever ones. Ha ha ha. I promise to continue accepting challenges from masters all over Huaxia in the next half month. But in just one day, I have defeated 20 opponents. No one can defeat this Kimura Shimikin. It seems that there is no talent in all of Huaxia. Kimura Shimikin began looking for an opponent for the next game. I will crush all the weaklings and prove to this Hoaxia that Kimura Shimikin is the champion, he thought. Suddenly, a certain account caught his attention, none other than Huirai Kitun. Immediately, this name made Shimikin extremely uncomfortable and angry. This person is so bold, he must be a fool who doesn't know right from wrong. That name is like a challenge, an insult to him is country. He couldn't stand it any longer and decided to teach a lesson to the account named Huirai Kitun. On the other hand, Chen Yuan also received a challenge from Kimura Shimikin. Who cares to challenge the Demon King? Just by looking at the name, I can tell he's just a childish person, probably an elementary school student. According to my level 7 expertise, Kimura Shimikin cannot possibly detect a player with such low skills. However, the ranking system of Go has a special point that is, players with high winning rates will be pushed to the top of the rankings. Thanks to this, even though Chen Yun is only a master of level 7, he has the opportunity to appear in the list of potential opponents of Kimura Shimikin. Shimikin looked at Chen Yun's information and a scornful smile appeared on his lips. This person is just like me, owning a 100% win rate. After opening the opponent's achievement information page, Chen Yun also realized something similar to himself. An amateur 7 wins over 60 consecutive games, the name Demonic King seems not simple at all. Someone with a 100% win rate like that definitely isn't an average player, probably a hidden Go master who has leisure time to enjoy torturing others. Quickly, the first game between Chen Yuan and Kimura Shimikin officially began. Chen Yuan moved the first chess piece to open the game, choosing an aggressive playstyle to dominate the opponent from the very first moves. Shimikin responded with a strong defensive strategy. Chen Yuan didn't know the opponent's identity, but the opponent's playstyle was extremely cunning, full of tricks and unpredictable changes. It seemed as if every move contained numerous traps waiting for him to fall into. After just 10 moves, Chen Yuan felt a tremendous amount of pressure. The opponent had set too many subtle traps. Moreover, these traps were closely linked together, creating countless illusions and deceits. No matter which move Chen Yuan made, it seemed like he would fall into the trap meticulously set up by the opponent. Chen Yuan gradually felt the pressure as his attacks could not penetrate the demonic king's defensive line. By the 20th move, Chen Yuan realized something. Strange, this playstyle is somewhat similar to the heavenly demonic transformation in Legend. This playstyle is famous for its deceit and unpredictable changes. However, in modern Go, very few people use this playstyle because it easily puts oneself in a disadvantageous position. When he sets up countless traps for me, it also means he is putting himself in a dangerous position. If he doesn't have strong calculating abilities, he could make himself lose without my intervention. But this person can successfully apply this playstyle. It can be said that he has extraordinary thinking abilities and processing speed far beyond ordinary people. After 30 moves, Chen Yuan clearly felt the difficulty slowly enveloping him. Shimikin has been making sharp moves, pushing him into a disadvantageous position. Chen Yuan focused intensely on analyzing each of Shimikin's moves. However, increasing pressure made him sweat profusely. 
I'm in trouble. I'm falling into a disadvantageous position. Although my calculation ability is not inferior, and I can recognize the trap set by this demon king, in terms of experience and tactics in Go, I am not as good as him. This is making me increasingly disadvantaged in the game. Shimikin, enjoying his traditional hometown sushi, remarked with a satisfied look, Um, this opponent is quite strong. Only after 30 moves did he fall into the trap. With this level, he must have reached the professional master level. But to defeat me, he still has a long way to go. Chen Yuan sighed, feeling extremely helpless. No wonder this guy has been able to win more than 60 consecutive games. If this continues, I'm afraid I will lose and break my winning streak, which will delay my promotion to level 9 and cost me a lot of time. It seems that I need to force him to reveal his true strength system. I need to strengthen my Go playing experience. Ding! A strengthening point can strengthen 5 years of Go playing experience. How many years of Go playing experience does the owner need to strengthen? Then strengthen it by 10 years. Ding! Successful strengthening. Congratulations to the owner for gaining 50 years of Go playing experience, the current professional level 9 Go playing. The owner still has 20 years of experience to strengthen. A second later, countless Go experiences along with countless Go strategies appeared in Chen Yuan's mind. He grasped every master's position, every Go tactic from ancient times to the present. This is not just a way of thinking, it is the crystallization of thousands of years of wisdom. Every next move of his opponent seemed to have anticipated their intentions and could professionally defuse the situation. Based on his extensive experience in competition, Chen Yuan looked at the chessboard on the computer. His eyes became sharp. I have realized it. The best move to defuse the heavenly demonic transformation is the divine demonic metamorphosis. This is the first move placed in a crucial position. No matter how the game evolves, I can create a proper response and avoid traps. Although divine demonic metamorphosis can counter the heavenly demonic transformation, I also have another way. In terms of strategic calculations and trap formations, I'm not sure I have lost to this guy. After about five minutes of contemplation, Chen Yuan continued to move his pieces. This time, he did not hesitate to rush into the trap, causing his opponent to be surprised. Earlier, I almost lost due to a tactical and experiential oversight, but now I have both tactics and tournament experience. Furthermore, with over 80 points of mental attributes, I can withstand Mo Key and traps much better than this guy. Let's see who the real winner is, brat.